Hello, hello, and welcome back to Balefire Blues. Uh, so I want to address something real fast for the YouTube people. Um, I the previous save was lost. I was incapable of reloading it, so I started again and got roughly to where we were, trying to make the same decisions. I think things have come out a little bit differently to how they're supposed to be. Um, but we're gonna carry on anyway. So, you know, time time has rewritten itself ever so slightly. People here on Twitch have been hit, sitting here with me as I tried to try and fix everything, but... Okay, that's right. We had people to sign. So, uh, we just had the revolution of the ghouls occur. And I decided that was a good moment to start recording. Um, let's see here. Charismatic. He's pretty good. Hey, welcome, uh... Cree, uh, Cree Diodan 57 Uh, I... You came out at just the right time where I began recording for the YouTube people, so welcome. Um... Okay, we're trying to... Oh, wait. He's the only one that can be in this position, so let's put someone else in there. Um... Endurance versus intelligence. Let's go with this one. Yeah, this is the, uh... Fo followed Equestrian mod, so it's both, like, Apocalyptic and My Little Pony. <laughs> We're a, little, a good bit into it. The, I've done streams of this previously. We are doing... This is my first time actually doing like a proper run of this for probably over a year. Not counting the previous streams, I mean. So, the what, when I first looked at it, this was a brand new mod with barely a lot of... Like, barely any of the stuff implemented. And what I'm trying to play has a morally good... Ten Pony Tower, but the Ghoul Revolution has occurred, and I'm like, oh no. Um. So I think we're gonna develop new homes. The average Midtown resident lives in simple shacks, bi shack buildings, which is, to put it nicely, not very wa weatherproof. We should build more modern and durable houses. So the citizens of Midtown can at least get a small taste of Ten Pony's living standards. We, I want to start trying to justify war goals on the uh, the people of Guttersville. But oh wait, we can now. Has this ticked up high enough? Oh, do I want to go start working on war with them? I don't think while we're still unstable from the revolution, I think we're gonna give it some time. Here we go, Ghouls of Teal, Ten Pony. Uh, Rahaf, Rahaf had seen a lot in the past 200 years. Yeah, we'd read this previously. So, we're just going to go ahead and click through this. Um, in my previous stream I had read, read that, and you can watch it when it goes live on YouTube, which I believe actually hasn't gone up on YouTube. Uh, it goes up next week on Wednesday as of when I'm recording this. Every Wednesday on YouTube is when you can find uh Fallout Equestria stuff. Yeah, this is where they're like, oh god, this place is haunted, I believe. Oh, hold on, fucking there you go. Epic Games still bring up a pop up. I don't know if the recording picked that up. Okay, we got... We can modify our government. <laughs> GG on the ghouls. I... I didn't try to get them in. I, like, I just made the same decision. I had to start, start from the beginning because my old save was lost. And I tried to replicate the same decisions. And the decisions I made last time resulted in the ghouls. I don't really know the paths of the story here, so... I'm discovering it as I go. You dated one of the mods of this mod? 
That's nice. Uh, let's go with... Hmm. Yeah. One thing I bring up all the time is that, um... I really hope that one day a, um... I want somebody to make a Command and Conquer Tiberium Universe mod for Base Hearts of Iron. If that's ever made, I'm gonna play the shit out of it, no matter how complicated it is. I will learn how to play Base Hearts of Iron if I have to. Because I do not know how to play Base Hearts of Iron, it scares me. Okay, that's a little bit TMI. Also, hold on, let me adjust the position of the chat. I always forget to do this before, and... There we go, I've moved the chat box a little bit. Um... Is there a way to end the revolution? I'm assuming that just happens down this path. Oh my god, that's a fucking huge focus tree. Um, all right, let, let's look at some of our options. We got the Grimstar Doctrine. Uh, these three are mutually exclusive. The best of the best. That's what our ponies must be. We shall win battles through merit and skill rather than through numbers. Uh, and what does that do? Refined warfare, conventional warfare, and non-equine. We have no interest in invading settlements. We do, however, have an invested interest in providing pro providing for the safety and protection of our residents. Again, those of you on YouTube, if you see any dramatic differences between like how things are, it's because I reset the save. <laughs> uh, caps are plentiful and soldiers are, are cheap. Mercenaries, thugs for hire. Anyone wishing to earn a few caps will make up the bulk of our military force. Conquer Gut Gutterville. I believe I am planning on doing that. That This is Gutterville, right? Yeah. I want to push through Gutterville and Friendship City uh, to get ourselves safe. And then uh, take that focus, or to take that, like, expansion to swing in uh, the power and take over the, uh, or kick the cannibals out of Erafu? Uh, is that what it is? Erebu. That's right. They changed it to a B. Out of Erebu. Over here we got Scrap Refinery. Uh, the ponies of Midtown are not uncivilized savages that some of the tower believes them to be. In fact, they are quite skilled. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, new Forge in Midtown is proving to be a good investment as now it now produces enough tools that salvaging pre-war tools is no longer necessary. Okay. Uh, beware of Friendship City. They're assholes. Okay, they are assholes who spam. Good to know. They're gonna be a tough enemy. Uh, with the new homes, more ponies from the surrounding regions are moving to Midtown. Whilst this is, at first glance, a positive development, it also means that the already old and damaged roads- Okay, yeah, that's to upgrade roads. Uh, down here we got the prestigious elites and the genocidal c uh, click. So, uh, st status have been or statusists. Statusists. Hold on. Adjusting my screen closer to me so I can read better. When I'm ch like just chilling casually, my screen sits further back on my desk so that like I can set down my keyboard and stuff. Sorry, just my mic. When I'm recording, I move my keyboard onto my lap, and uh, so that I can move my screen forward and read better. Status has begun to pop up out in, uh, out of the woodwork. A plan must be made to deal with these traitors before they be they get out of control. Once you find the origin of those smooth skins rats, we can destroy them once and for all. Or, the genocidal click. Grimstar and his click have proven to be quite the hoofful. Our focuses were near forces were nearly obliterated in their last attack. And, uh, 
and are to be swiftly dealt with as soon as possible. I mean, ideally I want the them to take control back on the tower, but if I've already locked myself into playing as these guys, that, that may just have to be the case. We may, we may be playing ghouls now by mis due entirely to mistakes I made. Engineering section. Uh, engineering is an art thought long lost. With the knowledge we have now, we could... Almost sneezed. Uh, hang on. I have a sneeze stuck in the back of my nose. God, I've been watching through Taskmaster with my girlfriend. And uh, we're in season five. If you've never seen Taskmaster, fucking hilarious show. The... They get a bunch of comedians on and they give them weird goals to do. Like, like one of them might be like, fucking, uh, hide this boiled egg or destroy this cake in the best way possible. And it's just fucking ridiculous. One of them was sneeze. First person to sneeze wins. And one of them just put his hands on his nose and started going, Saying that helped him sneeze, and I think they said after the fact they did it for 45 minutes or something. Show's so funny. But, uh, an art that long lost. And with the knowledge we have now, we could revive it, the field as a whole. Electrical, mechanical, and chemical engineering alike can revive, be revived in the wasteland. We even have books on environmental engineering. Crusher was undergoing an industrial revolution during the war. Rapid advancements allowed for uh, the production on a scale, or a pro allowed for production on a scale only dreamed of in the past. By learning from their produ production methods, we could unlock the secrets of mass production. And uh, robotics was a relatively new field, with wartime or within wartime Equestria. Reviving this field could be the key to re revolutionizing. Our army industry, or our army and industry alike. I think. Hmm. Do I, I'm. I think. Okay, this is just me being weird. I want to start with the highest things on the focus tree and work my way down, just because it it feels more right to me. So we're gonna go ahead and pick. I think I want to go with the Grim Star Doctor, and because we're gonna be focusing on going out with our military a lot. And I think we've got a big enough army to invade Guttersvale now. So we're going to start justifying our role, war goal to conquer Guttervale. But I need more political points. You should try and get rid of your debuffs. Like, ASAP. Is that done through the revolutionary tree? Because they got weekly disabilities. Same for the war effort. Oh, let's see here. Import economy. I assume you mean the ghoul society? Oh my god, yeah, that's a major... Okay. As soon as we're done with this, I think we're going to focus on trying to get some of these. We'll, we'll do uh, the genocidal clique next time when we come back. I and mean, when we come back, when I mean when we finish the uh, focus we're on right now. Well, actually, you don't get the debuffs until you go down the tree. But I'm locked out of other stuff. Oh, so I won't be able to pick. So I'm assuming like certain ones of these I won't be able to pick until I've gone far enough down that focus tree. But as I go down this focus tree, debuffs will start popping up. That's neat. That to sort of simulate the rigors of a civil war going on. That makes sense. All right. Um. And let me turn down this music a teeny bit. I get, I'm afraid of, like, ever since I had one Deltarune stream where the music vastly outweighed my volume, I'm constantly worried about having music too loud now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and research vacuum tubes, because I always like keeping that tree filling out. And along with it, we're going to go down the path of... 
multi-purpose equipment. Yeah, and how much does it take to justify war on these people? I need a total of 44. Okay. So let's wait a little bit on that. In the meantime, we're gonna... Is there any wars going on that we can watch? I mean, there's that little... Yeah, I guess let's look over here. That war is really not advancing at all. Ooh. Cracking my knuckles a little. Yeah, no other wars are going on anywhere, really. I hope... Uh, sometimes when I pan across the map like that, it lags a little. Ooh, research, but boom I want to build faster, so let's go with this. How it... Ooh. The ghoul tree gives you an, an instant war goal on every main hat in the nation. And will help you boost your popularity so you're not stuck at 25. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't uh, declare war manually. Maybe I should wait until the focus tree gives me the ability to. Got it. Good to know. Um, Let's do this to increase our population further. How is Little Pip doing on their journey? The Lightbringer is or is dis has oh whoops. The Lightbringer has decided the fate of Shattered Hoof or Shattered Hoof. Is that a location or a character? It's been year okay. It's down here. Okay. Uh, they have. They have met the Washer. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit play. So yeah, I, I guess I'll, I won't declare any wars manually. I'll just fo stick with my focus tree. So we're going to remain isolationist until the focus tree gives me war-based goals. Which, um, how does everybody feel? Oh my god. Oh my god, everybody hates me. Because we're a ghoul nation. Okay. Um, hang on, let's... Change what they're doing to be area defense. There we go. That's That looks really nice. Um, we can make a governmental modification. Let's switch to controlled borders to start letting immigrants in. All right, and now we're just waiting for the facus, the, fo the facus, the focus tree to tick on. Ooh, okay, we finished that. Unity declared war on Splendid Valley. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be a substantial war. Ugh, oh, it bothers me that some of the songs are so much louder than others. Um, so yeah, let's focus on the revolution. Let's pick that one. Let the revolution stabilize before we uh, to expand too much. Nevero has declared war on the Hasty Walkers. Nevero has declared war on the Hasty. Oh God! Okay, so we're very late into the the plot, huh? Like we're hitting the latter chapters of the novel happening now. Uh, armory has been fortified. Forces still hold the armory. Yeah, we got this last time during the last recording session. So boom. Boom. And now let's do this one. Ooh. Yeah, let's just look at those two wars happen. National focus complete. Uh, the statist's vengeance. A gunshot rang out as a hole appeared in the wall next to Mayseed's head. Shouting a curse as he dives to the nearest cover, an unfortunate oak table, uh, which had seen better, far better days. She couldn't help but wonder how it had all gone so wrong, though she certainly knew that ten pony resistance, or that the ten pony resistance had honed the or, resistance and had a heart. Though she certainly knew that the Ten Pony Resistance and their horrid bunch were holed up somewhere, 
She had always thought them to be too sophisticated to give uh, or to get a bit of blood on their hooves, an assumption which had been proven to be disastrously wrong. If the corpse of their fellow ghouls were anything to go by, or corpses of their fellow ghouls, uh, her makeshift cover quickly proved its wor worthlessness when splinters went flying everywhere from the newly er, from a newly made hole. This wasn't good. This wasn't good at all. Reinforcements would surely be here soon, but if the society were able to ambush her in what had become a makeshift command center of the tower, then where else could they be? Were any of the, them safe? Was the sheriff Ro was Sheriff Roddington was even Sheriff Roddington in danger? Up in the renovated pent or up in the renovated penthouse suite. These questions had to be answered and fast before that damned society could uh, could do any more damage. Damn them, pretentious schmucks! All right. So now we've got break into the ma uh, mass mass buyers, establish the security counselor, and appropriate appropriate the ten pony property. I like the sound of this one. The Emergency Broadcast System, or Ma Massibus for short, is a massive radio system hosted, or hosted by home pay, or Homage, uh, another smooth skin. Well, there. <clears throat> Actually, I should be talking in my ghoul voice. Uh, well, their mayor has done some good, then spread an ultimately good message to the waste. She is in a way, way the ultimate, or she's in the way of the ultimate goal. Have some of our, oh no, I don't want to do that one. Well, let's, uh, establish the security council. A security council needs to be established if we want to pr properly protect ourselves and keep these grand exper- or keep this grand experiment alive. The attacks are coming more often and are increasing in intensity with each strike. We fear that soon, Ten Pony will once again be the in the hooves of our oppressors. All right, ba boom. So Splendid Valley, which is, what are they? Oh, they just died. They were a Constitution visionary group. Meanwhile, over here we've got. Survival, constitu er, yeah, constitution, and a destruction fo a mainly destruction focused group. So raiders essentially. Yeah, Navarro continues its experience. Look at how cute Autumn Leaf is. Oh, that hair! They're so cute and fluffy. They could be a fun playthrough in the future, playing as the bad guys. Now right, we establish the security council. Appropriate ten pony property. The ten hang, what is doing this one even do for me? I wanna wait on the event. The ten pony administration and its members owned many pieces of property that can be very useful for the for us. And now that they are either dead they are oh, in a way you're already the bad guy. Yeah, I didn't mean to be, but it just sort of happened. <laughs> Uh, the Ten Pony Administrate. Well, let's be real. If this is anything like the real Ten Penny Tower of Fallout 3, are either of the sides really the bad guy? They're both kinds of pieces of shit. <laughs> the Ten Pony Administration and its members owned many pieces of property that can be useful for us. And now that they are either dead, uh, either dead or not here anymore, we need to do something to it. Distribute the land to our comrades. This would give us a boost to our production. Okay, like yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's go back to our main property, and we got another. Everybody, make sure you're in that army. Boom. boom. Do I have other units I can start training? Uh, not in the, aside from my specialty units, no. So let's just continue watching Navarro grow and consume those around it. One thing I would love to see someone try and do once Old World Blues is done is create a sub mod that turns the clock back to the time period of Fallout 1, allowing you to play Shady Sands and form the early NCR and like 
see the birth of Caesar and play through the, like, his early days. I think you could do really cool things. But that's kind of that would be a whole entire fucking massive undertaking in and of itself. So I don't expect anyone to. Some of the Command and Conquer sub mod I mentioned I would love to see. Like I I adore the Command and Conquer universe. Oop, towers. Four stars collaborated with zebras and destroyed Manhattan with a balefire bomb they smuggled in. Little Pip finds herself wanting a party time. Men, oh my god. Little Pip has arrived in Manhattan under totally different circumstances than the, than in the novel. Little Pip finds herself wanting party time mintat, uh, not only to solve problems, but just just for the feeling. The group enters Ten Pony Tower, an outpost of class and snoo uh, snoothies. What? Oh, snooties! <laughs> I can't read. But her event chain's odd when there's ghouls. And more importantly, a place to contact DJ Three Pawn. Monterey Jack runs a cheese shop there, and Little Pip calls uh, him out on trying to rob her. Uh, the police pony walks up, and Monterey Jack openly agrees uh, that he did, and uh, did try to rob her, and he- Oh, I remember this part of the novel. And he was uh, just trying to survive uh, a trip gone wrong. Ten Pony, ta uh, Ten Pony punishes robbery with execution. So, he's arrested and uh, legal the legal process begins. Little Pip meets a homage, DJ Three Pawn's assistant, who reveals that she is J DJ Three Pawn. And uses a spell to alter her voice during news broadcasts so she doesn't have to watch... What she says, and avoid being kicked out of Ten Pony Tower. Ten Pony Tower was a min the Ministry of Arcane Science hub in Manhattan, and Homage has its access cam er, has its access to camera feeds from ca uh, from cameras halfway up. Cl bleh, has access to camera feeds from cameras halfway up cloud piercing high towers, built across Equestria. She lacks access to the Philadelphia Tower, where Red Eye has hacked his way in. The devs haven't implemented separate locks for the ghouls take over, and such for some other man. Okay, that makes sense. That it's the kind of thing that would take time to implement, and this mod is still, I'd argue, early in development, so it's fair. That they haven't, like, written a separate course of events. I mean,. We can pretend that it's basically the same types of events play out, just with ghouls replacing most of the people. And that when the ghouls take over, they keep most of the laws relatively the same, just for the, you know, the sake of uh, a stable transition. Alright, let's begin the hunt. Hmm. <clears throat> Our takeover of the tower has uh, uh Come to come with obvious efforts. The uh, scumbags who are hang on, cool voice. The scumbags who rolled over it before now want to, to take it back. Expected, but not wanted. We need to begin our search for them and completely wipe them out before they inevitably get to uh, inevitably destroy our new society. Hmm. I wonder, little Pip showing up during this moment, which side would they take on this fight? With how morally gray it is, like, I... Hmm. It's been a while since I read the novel. Like, I was in, like, my second year of high school, I think, when I read it. I feel like they would honestly avoid taking a side. Oh, sorry, I was adjusting something. They would basically just let it play out. I could be wrong, that, uh, that might be a little out of character for them, but... Uh, let's unpause. It looks like this war is coming to an end very soon. Ooh. Preparing a counterattack. Looking down upon his herd from the his position at the peak of the lobby staircase, Riding Tail couldn't help but show his anger at, at, with... Uh, with the bearing of his teeth. 
his loyal followers, killed and slaughtered like vermin by these ponies. These filthy beasts that dared to think of themselves superior based merely <clears throat> on the presence of coat upon their bodies. These disgusting pastel sacks of shit would pay. For each of his herd that they had killed, he would ensure that a dozen of their kind fell. The assembled ghouls uh, were what could uh, be spare, uh, spared among their forces. Most of his ghouls were desperately trying to hold their position against their foes. The rabid remnants of the tower's former owners and despicable security dogs that defe defended them. Though he would prefer to have far, far more of his herd able to fight al alongside him, he assembled, the assembled mob held guns in their hooves and had car uh, courage in their hearts. That would have to be enough. Not even bothering to hide his anger, Sheriff Roddingtail began to speak. The ghouls stood at attention. Hunt down the dogs. Thank you for heeding my call. You are all proud and strong ghouls. Each and every one of you. In your hooves, you hold the instruments of justice within you. Uh, uh, instruments of justice. Within your hearts, you hold the commitment to see the world made right. You are the bringers of law, the defenders of that common decency which should guide our world. Far above us, within the halls of this blasted tower, our brothers and sisters fight against creatures of wickedness. These boasts hold little sacred, looking upon themselves even as a uh, as blessed as, or even as blessed as their life with nothing but contempt. They kill us by the dozen. They slaughter our comrades like cattle. They spit upon us even as they commit unspeakable atrocities. It is time that we show what happens to those who murder, who steal, who defile the ideals of harmony and peace. Just a, just a. Want to throw out that the Ten Pony Ghouls have the same color as the Destruction Focus? <laughs> it falls to you all to ensure that they face the judgments of their sins. So come now! Come and join me in battle. Join me in avenging our comrades and enacting judgments upon our oppressors and securing the future of our kind. Ghouls! To arms! No oppressors shall ever escape! Well, I think with that, it's a good moment to take a short moment of break and transition out for the YouTube folk. So, those of you on Twitch, stick around, we're not done yet. We're gonna keep on going with this, but we're going to break the stream for the people on YouTube. Uh, allowing that uh, for this part of the stream to be uploaded to YouTube, you know? Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, and you're, this is ending, why don't you head on over to the other video that went live today, My GF Makes Me Read Homestuck. I've been adoring that series. It's, it's very fun just chilling and reading a silly webcomic with her. But, um, before you go... If you're watching and you're not subscribed, uh, what, what the hell do you think you're doing? Look, 40.5% of you aren't subscribed. 40.5! Only 59.5% of you are subscribed. I don't think those numbers add up. I don't think those add- Oh no, they do. The 0.5 makes- Okay. That, that, come on. Why don't you subscribe? Do it! Do it now! Subscribe! <laughs> oh, but anyway, we're gonna cut the recording there and we're gonna keep on streaming. So, ta ta to YouTube people.